Test as one, two. afternoon or evening wherever you might be in time and space getting us here and we'll be getting uh we'll be taking off in a minute well we're already taking off we'll get going here in a minute finish up this bit of music here by arthur yoria one bright color Thank you. 
such a nice one. I didn't want to cut it off. Good morning, again. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Can you say I found a castle? Check this out, folks. Sit here. Hohenzollern Castle is the ancestral seat of the Imperial House of Hohenzollern. The third of three hilltop castles built on the site, it is located atop Mount Hohenzollern, above and south of Hessingen, on the edge of the Swabian Jura of central Baden-Württemberg, Germany. The first castle on the mountain was constructed in the early 11th century. Over the years the House of Hohenzollern split several times, but the castle remained in the Swabian branch, the dynastic seniors of the Franconian Brandenburgian cadet branch that later acquired its own imperial throne. This castle was completely destroyed in 1423 after a ten-month siege by the free imperial cities of Swabia. The second castle, a larger and sturdier structure, was constructed from 1454 to 1461, which served as a refuge for the Catholic Swabian Hohenzollerns, including during the Thirty Years' War. By the end of the 18th century it was thought to have lost its strategic importance and gradually fell into disrepair, leading to the demolition of several dilapidated buildings. The third, and current, castle was built between 1846 and 1867 as a family memorial by Hohenzollern scion King Frederick William IV of Prussia. Architect Friedrich August Stuhler based his design on English Gothic Revival architecture and the Chateau of the Loire Valley. No member of the Hohenzollern family was in permanent or regular residence when it was completed, and none of the three German emperors of the late 19th and early 20th century German Empire ever occupied the castle. In 1945 it briefly became the home of the former Crown Prince Wilhelm of Germany, son of the last Hohenzollern monarch, Kaiser Wilhelm II. Among the historical artifacts of Prussian history contained in the castle are the crown of Wilhelm II, some of the personal effects of King Frederick the Great, and a letter from U.S. President George Washington thanking Hohenzollern descendant Baron von Steuben for his service in the American Revolutionary War. Oh, man, what a history that place has had. And we all need a castle. And that would be so awesome. And then all those people that didn't live there, that could have lived there. How awesome that is. Just big enough to have some small parties, you know what I mean? Could have a few friends over. Tight, confined space. <laughs> Man. It's a shame that we can't all have castles. All right, so yeah, I uh, I started there. We're up in the air, uh, up here somewhere, and we finished our last jump. Uh, let, let's actually. But while elevator black type K, which we'll be able to see. Uh another castle right behind us. Liechtenstein Castle is a privately owned Gothic revival castle located in the Swabian Jura of southern Germany. It was designed by Karl Alexander Heidloff and its name means shining or bright stone. The castle overlooks the Akaz Valley near okay. Onau, Reutlingen in the state of Baden-Württemberg. The modern castle was inspired by the novel Liechtenstein by Wilhelm Hoff and was finished in 1842. The ruins of the medieval castle that inspired the novel are a few hundred meters away. The name Liechtenstein translates as Shining Stone. The castle was damaged during World War II, but efforts to restore it began in the immediate aftermath of the war. Once again, and thanks to local non profit organizations like the Wustenrote Foundation and Community Fund for the Preservation of Liechtenstein Castle, 
the walls were restored in 1980, followed by the second floor in 1998. The upper floor and roof were restored in 2002. Hello, Farmer Cool. Hey, yeah, I understand. Thank you for stopping in. Just the same. Yeah, it's probably a busy day for a lot of folks, and I know that uh, Annie's got school and everybody's got stuff to do. So, uh, thank you. I hope you're all having a good day today. And I'm trying to find this other... Hop, skip right over the... Okay, so I'm heading right to it. Such a, such a beautiful, such a beautiful area. And, um, uh, at least the microphone is working. Your semester is. At least we hear some wind. <clears throat> At least there's something going on in the background. Uh, I'm imagining that we have an electric plane. The the engine noise really gets gets to me after a while. And uh, after flying for so long, I take my headphones off and I'm saying and role playing that we have a uh, fully electric. Help if I engage the bottle. I want falling out of the air. But what in the world is going on? Power. Silly power. But man, what a fantastic, uh, even today, you know, looking back on, on that castle we were at a minute. Wow. What a, a fantasy environment. It all still look, except in all of the modern buildings, you know, it's still like it's. Imagine knights running around on horseback and knightly things. Best is over tomorrow. So tomorrow Saturday, I'm able to fly with you. All right. Well, I will. Uh, if I will do my best to be on early Saturday and see what we can do. I'll uh, do a special live Saturday then Saturday then. Um, and then Saturday evenings, I usually do dungeon again with friends. Yeah, I'm still a geek. Me and all my friends, we are still. But actually, we we started it up again. I mean, we used to play a lot when we were young. And now we all have kids, and our kids want to play. And they're not even, they're not terribly young people. But they never really, I mean, played, and when they were younger, they didn't really get it. Um, and so, one of uh, one of the kids wants to learn how to play, wanted to learn how to play 5th edition. They're friends, so uh, we've been doing a camp with her been fun it, it, it's you know it's just nice hanging out and um in young oh, okay all right so saturday is going to be off then no need to fly probably won't fly on saturday we'll be at the yeah let's just plan it again for next monday so no Yeah, there's no hurry. There's always going to be another show, and I'm going to be sticking around Germany for a while. I'm I'm just loving it, my friend. I'm, I'm loving it. It's so it's so pretty here. And I guess I'm in the Bavaria region now. Uh, I've always heard about it. Um, Bavaria is the prettiest. I mean, 
it's all all beautiful of it i'm wondering though if the, if the as i move around here if there are any different like in you know in the eastern half of the united states it's mostly like this you don't have a lot of change what i mean by that is in the united states you know from colorado i'm on the plains and then i've got the mountains right next and then uh if i go south a little bit we've got deserts and we've got, you know, we've just have so many different types of rain. I haven't really come across that. Yet. Desert areas, whatever. Either way, it's it's all love. And I'm all right. We should be here at Licton Castle. The uh, update for Microsoft Flight Simulator King. Hey, if I was a castle world, I'd be actually on the court. Lichtenstein Castle is a privately owned Gothic revival castle located in the Swabian Jura of southern Germany. It was designed by Karl Alexander Heidloff and its name means shining or bright stone. The castle overlooks the Akaz Valley near Onau, Reutlingen in the state of Baden-Württemberg. The modern castle was inspired by the novel Liechtenstein by Wilhelm Hoff and was finished in 1842. The ruins of the medieval castle that inspired the novel are a few hundred meters away. The name Liechtenstein translates as Shining Stone. The castle was damaged during World War II, but efforts to restore it began in the immediate aftermath of the war. Once again, and thanks to local non-profit organizations like the Wustenrot Foundation and Community Fund for the preservation of Liechtenstein Castle, the walls were restored in 1980, followed by the second floor in 1998. The upper floor and roof were restored in 2002. No, folks, not everything is in the simulator. I mean, a castle is pretty easy to spot, but... And again, some things aren't, uh, if they're in the simulator and they haven't been and created like, then it's just the auto gen top of it. Like all the pyramids, that was the saddest thing about going in. So many pyramids and it, they let it auto gen over the top of the pyramids. You can kind of make out the pyramid photogrammetry underneath. Then it'll spawn an autogen on top of the pyramids. And okay, this one's a bust, but it's still area. If I had a castle, yeah, I would have put my. So the hey. I'll come back. Grab my mug. Here's, here's health well-being 
anybody new that might be tuning in. Oh, my name is Kenius. Um, under name, Sky Dude. Sky st started Sky Dude the Sky Dude series. Do the Neo Flaw. Try the career out, and it's been a lot of fun. You can do freelance, and you can find jobs, and you can rent planes, and you can buy planes, and if you the add on, you can get staff and have them all flying at the same time, and that's the best way. You know, we didn't check today to that where the gotten how to. And it says that the last airport. Let's just find. Is Ubersburg last again? Allergy on class. Actually, all right, so right, so yes, here E D four seven. Exactly for one class ninety six just eight. Yeah, I definitely remember. I I would love to say that I was an ideal student. I could have been. I mean, I was academically growing up. I'm. It depends on how much effort I want to put the thing. Uh, if I want to put all the effort in, I can ace any class I want to. Just that by the time I got to college, well, I was you know, I wanted to party, party and party and party and party, party, and you know so I didn't as well academically as I could. I still placed in the top ten, so uh, you know, and it wasn't a big, but I still placed top ten. Uh, but, you know, I could have placed a lot better. Like, I have to admit that I placed 10 of 10. But I still placed in top 10. Matter of 10. But I probably could have done, like, top 5 had I applied myself. But, like I said, young. Went to college young. Uh, it was an art school. So, I mean, we didn't uh, feel the need to.
Yeah, you live in a beautiful country, my friends. I don't know if that'll happen or not. We can drink. At least we're here. You know what I mean? That's one of the beautiful at least at least you can see the world to some degree and experience oh my I, I think better way the audio is still cutting some Weird. I, I don't know what's been going on with my audio I, microphone. From my audio level. Yeah, it does seem really low. Man, what is going on with this? The other day it was like so loud. Gosh, it's way down. Is something taking exclusive control? Test, test, one, two. Yeah, that should be a lot better now. It was down at like 29%. And then yesterday it was just off all the way around. Uh, test, test. Hopefully you're hearing me a lot better now. I mean, it's it's registering for sure. Aliens. Aliens are taking over. Yeah. All right. There's our flaps. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Again, thank you. Thank you so much. It's it's great that uh, that both of you gentlemen showed up in the last two days. Because if, uh, well, you would have eventually shown up after Farmer yesterday and told me that uh, the mic wasn't even on. And then thank you for, again for telling me. It's always something. Newfin balls holes. You know, and then, then there's nothing even rough about like any of the mountain ranges. Everything just uh, rolling and soft. Hohenirfen Castle is a large ruined castle in the northern I see it. of the Swabian Alb, above the town of Neufen in the district of Esslingen in Baden-Württemberg. The medieval castle is situated on a large late Jurassic rock on the edge of the Swabian Alb at an elevation of 743 meters, 2,437 feet in a strategically advantageous location on the slopes of the mountain range. The castle was built between 1100 and 1120 by Mangold von Selmatingen, who later changed his name to include the element von Neufen. The first documentary evidence dates from 1198. 
Right. So some ruins there. You want to buy a P-51? What a powerhouse. Well, that's a... That's a lot of power. That was cool. They showed Tom Cruise working on a P-51 in the, uh, top, uh, the latest Top Gun Maverick movie. Did that play? I'm sure it released worldwide. Did you see the uh, Top Gun Maverick? Well, you know about the Dark Star, but again, did you see the movie? The Dark Star in the movie? I was really... They're so politically correct with everything. They never once mentioned who the enemy are. They never mentioned who the enemy are, and at the end we get, uh, you know, you do see some, like, uh, that that Russian plane, that Russian jet that that messes with them, but it's never definitively said where it's at, and they never definitively said you know whose stuff it was, where we were. They're so politically correct now; they don't even want to say who. You know, they don't want to say this. These people are the bad guys. With the AU fifty sevens, so it, you think it was the Russians? I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know about the AU fifty seven. So honestly, sorry. That is, that's uh, I don't, I don't know that plane. Um, so Russia, and I don't remember the base when they landed at the base. I, I wasn't. I have to watch it again. When they they uh, they made their way to that base, was it a Russian base? I don't know. Okay, so we have to turn off our plane so we can get a job. Nope, down, down. But what was clear that Maverick and his crew are American? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe we're the bad guys. I don't think so. I would. I don't want to believe it anymore. With the way our country's going, man, I, I, you know, I don't want to believe it. But we have such bad, bad people running our country, and you know, uh, I don't understand them. Uh, and uh, and they they make us feel like we're the bad guys sometimes. And I don't, I don't dig that. I grew up with Superman, baseball, apple pie, and, you know, we're supposed to be the good guys. We're supposed to be the good guys and um, always do the right thing. And maybe that's just all fairy tales. Okay. Okay, so we are at, uh, da, 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 da. let's go back over here now, EDPA. Yeah. And let's see where the nearest job is. We are not there. Did it not register where we're at? You son of a gun. You were at 8047. Uh, okay, well, let's just move the plane then. And ourselves will just fight it and the fuel up anyway okay ED 47 
So we can move ourselves. So let me type in ED47. And this should move us. You really want to move your pilot for a thousand bucks. Yeah. And then we want to go to hangar. Just by moving yourself, it, it won't move your plane. So now you got to go bring this aircraft to the pilot location for another thousand bucks. Not too bad. And then once it spawns in there, you need to reassign yourself to the plane. So now put myself back in there. All right, so now it knows we're at ED-47, and now we can pick a job. Okay. That one's going to take us north. That one keeps us going south. Increase the distance a tiny bit. Hey, might be a little too much. Da, da, da. That takes us to Prague. I want to go to Prague. Vienna. Better shorten the distance a little bit then. Yeah, let's do this one. Where is this going? Friedrich Schaffen. Yeah, it looks like it's taking us down towards the coast. Oh, this must have been a big, big port area. Okay, to EDNY. Oh, now what? Not enough remaining cargo capacity. Let me check my cargo. I haven't even updated our fuel. Not the right amount of fuel. Huh. Uh, okay. But it won't let us take that one. That sucks. That one's still going south. Oh no, that one's going north. There we go. How about this one? Yeah, that'll work. Go back. This is taking us into Italy. Crosses into Switzerland. No. Shorten the distance some more. Ninety miles. Sensitive cargo, cargo. Twelve thousand dollars for forty-six miles. E D. E D. Yeah, let's do that one. See if we can get it. Uh oh, I'm not hearing any audio. Unaudible. That usually means something is wrong. Check my sound inputs here. That's the simulator. It's weird. Now I'm not getting any audio levels for this particular program. But I don't know if it's, if it's taking or not. Hmm. You don't get an audio. That's a sure sign that something is potentially wrong. Let me close it out again and start it up again. One problem after another. Cascading since yesterday. Check the chat. Back to the P-51. It's the Porsche of airplanes, says Henning. 
Maneuvers like a king. It's fast, easy to fly, and sometimes comes with two seats. The only downside is the price, since it is a historical World War II plane. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, trying to turn on Neil Fly again, get that loaded up again. Takes a sweet time. Well, that's just lovely. Now this thing is bugging up. I can't tell if we've got the job or not, but uh, if I don't hear audio, then normally the job doesn't work. Lord Almighty. Well, we'll fly it and see if, if anything happens, I suppose, you know, and see if it's just an audio problem with the with Neil Fly today. So we're going to EDTD. It's to the southwest of us. It doesn't seem to be registering the fuel properly either. Yeah, it says we got nothing. But over here, we're synced up and we've got fuel. Oh well, we'll just fly it. This doesn't really matter if we get paid or not. Forty-one minutes after the hour on a lovely Tuesday. Yeah, it says we have no fuel. It's like it's become desynced. Fuel sync is on. I 
Oh well, like I said, let's just go. Stop wasting time. This has been a really, really good computer, and I've got, I've almost got all the money I need saved up for another computer. I've been putting aside a little bit by little bit here and there, and I've got enough now to get a really nice computer, another one, and I'm really excited. I'm getting that bug, you know, where, oh, I want to go start checking out all the, uh, you know what's out there and but now i want to wait till microsoft flight simulator 2024 comes out so i might be waiting until august because everybody's saying it you know it's going to be a complete rework and up until now you we've been hunting for processors for microsoft flight simulator that are really good at single threading you know basically and now they're like well we're going to re rewrite it so it's all multi-threaded and and so some of the guys in the chat room are like, uh, in the forums are like, nah, you're not going to need any particular chip. But I don't believe it. I don't buy that at all. Up until this point, it's been like a single thread thing. And um, now it's going to become a multi-thread thing. And so it would absolutely, to me, make a difference as to which processor you get. So I'm glad I'm ahead of the curve. I've got all the uh, finances in order for that. and um, But now it's going to be a waiting game. And the, anyway, you'll be hopping off for today. All right. You have a great day. Good studying. Good studying. And uh, ace those tests, man. Ace it. Ace it. Ace it. For all of us out here who are rooting for you. So, um, and it, which is fine too, because the longer I wait, you know, the prices go down. But I'm really, really looking forward to it. I always get excited. That's about the only thing I mean, I do get terribly excited about. I'm not a very materialistic person. You know, I don't require a lot of things. I don't, I'm, I'm not materialistic, really. Um, but when it comes to computers, you know, that's something I always get happy about. All right, let's put this thing into auto and so we can do some sightseeing. Great. Sightseeing mode. Okay. And that gives me an opportunity to come over here. And again, we've already been there. We're heading back over towards the castles that we've already passed. See what else is in the area. Oh, those are the caves. Rottweil Tower.
big battle to the south of us. What is that? Führerhort Quartier Tannenberg was a Führer headquarters built in 1939 for use as a military command and control facility by Adolf Hitler. It was located oh, near that Kronstadt guy. and Hitler stayed there for a week in 1940 while inspecting the fortresses that formed the Maginot Line. Tannenberg was constructed on Canibis Mountain in the heart of the Black Forest on the grounds of an existing installation of Germany's Western Air Defense Zone near Freudenstadt. Built by the organization Todd in the winter of 1939 to 1940, it has been described as a prototype for the Wolf's Lair. The site's designation, Tannenberg, was from the Battle of Tannenberg during World War I. Hitler stayed at the Führerhort Quartier Tannenberg from 28 June to the 5th of July 1940, following the fall of France, using it as a base from which to tour the fortresses of the Maginot Line. This is the only time it was known to have been used by Hitler. Most of the buildings were demolished during the German withdrawal from the Western Front in 1945. One building, which remained standing, was subsequently used to store fertilizer and other supplies by foresters. As of 2015, the location of Tannenberg sits within the Black Forest National Park. Tannenberg consisted of two concrete bunkers, one used as Hitler's private quarters and a second as a communications facility. The site also included a number of wood frame structures, including a mess hall, barracks, guest quarters, a conference center, and a guard house. The perimeter of the complex was ringed with barbed wire. Yeah, well, I knew we were going to run across places like that. So, yeah, we're getting mighty close to France then. Talking about Maginot lines and all. So tragic. Such a beautiful place and such tragedy. I wish we could play a uh, commercial music. I really want to hear Devo right now. Mm, Devo's beautiful world. Tom Cruise can buy one, you can buy one too. I didn't see that until just now. That's funny. Man, well, Tom, you know, he's like super rich. Super rich. We have 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Just tuning in, sticking around Germany this month, getting to know Germany and just doing neo fly jobs, going back and forth, trying to become familiar with the uh, with the area, country. And when whenever able possible, doing some glider flying practice with my buddies Hans and Henny, who live here. And we found uh, Henny's house, and we found Klappenberg, and we established a home base airport.
be new to Flight Simulator and want to get into it and have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I may not know everything, but if uh, I don't know an answer to something, I will find the answer for you. If you need any help with anything whatsoever, flying-wise, I will be happy to help you. If you need somebody to fly with, just let me know. Just shoot me your screen name in the game and can group up and add me to your friends lists and all that. Sometimes it can be very difficult. It was very difficult for me to learn a flying. Uh, it didn't come easy at all, but you know, I get it now. And um, I try to explain things in, maybe in a more simple way than others. So today again was the world update for the Caribbean or Caribbean, however you want to pronounce it. So if you you know if that's your area and you've been looking to fly, congratulations. You've got uh I heard it all the maps are looking really good. All the water masking looking really good. That's far out. We were uh flying kind of close going that way uh, a couple weeks ago. We'll have to check it out eventually. So when I started the show, I played uh, one bright color, and I don't know if you uh, caught that or not. Uh, let me go ahead and replay that now. It's uh, just something he recorded in his living room with his uh, wife, Shanti. And uh, pretty good tune. Model Junkers. Just wondering in MF, MSFS, do you have to turn the plane on? using individual buttons and flicky things. You don't have to. You can start at a, at a, in a parking spot. Okay, so from the main menu, uh, it just depends on where you uh, wanna start. If you start on a runway, if you choose a runway as a departure, You'll be started up and everything, all your flicky things and buttons will be, everything will be already on. So you can just take off. But if you want to go through the cold and start uh, cold, and they call it cold and dark, then it's got a lovely checklist system, especially for like the Cessna, which is like the number one trainer plane. So up here in your top menu is your checklist. And... This is, these are fantastic. So it'll walk you through all your flicky things. And it'll walk you through each stage, you know, before starting the engine, starting the engine, before takeoff. You can also have it assist you. I don't think I have mine set to autocomplete. It, it's already completed, but you can have it autocomplete the page and turn everything on for you. But at least you become familiar. So I would say if you're just starting out with Microsoft flight simulator get yourself into the Cessna 172 and if you were to do this once a day when you when you fly in a couple of days I mean it's not as complex as you think um, that it'll become second nature pretty quick but again if you don't want to uh, for uh, I currently have a bug going on with mine uh, I've got a control conflict somewhere that I haven't quite figured out so when I start cold and dark I get it all started up and then the plane freezes and doesn't want to move so just because of that right now I'm doing all my starts from runways 
and by the way thank you for coming into the live stream today and, and um asking a question if you have any others please don't hesitate to ask it gives me something to talk about uh i was playing music i had a nice music app for a while and uh their terms of services became a little bit too much and too many copyright conflicts with YouTube. It just became more headache than it was worth. So I just got rid of it. So, Oh, you know, th this, I can't speak highly enough about Microsoft Flight Simulator. I, uh, you know, for a long time, we didn't have, we didn't have it. They weren't going to make another simulator. And finally they, they said, okay, well, we're going to come back and make another one. And it's, it's, it has been way more than we ever wanted. And it is one of the greatest flight sims I've ever played. And there's so much in it. And then if you're on, and now that we have YouTube, you can watch flight training videos all day long and keep them in rotation. And you can learn anything that you want to learn about flying from YouTube, I swear. Everything that you would ever want to learn, it you can learn it from YouTube. And as much as you want to put into this game, you will get out of it. Meaning that if there's something that you want to test, once you've learned something, you, you can test it in here. I really recommend it. If you do want to hold off, then I just recommend waiting a little while and wait for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. They're getting ready to release the 2024. They're going to remake the... They're rewriting the whole thing from scratch. And it's going to have a lot more features. And the graphics are going to be better. And it's going to have a career mode. And it's going to have uh, other things. But this is one of the greatest softwares ever created by mortal people. It's truly, truly amazing. It's a historic achievement. The people at Asobo are the greatest developers I've ever encountered in my life. The flight sim community in itself, with all the mods that they put out and all the different planes that they put out, the flight sim community is one of the greatest communities on the face of the planet. And uh, it is absolutely worth it to get either this one or the next one. Um... X-Plane 12 is out there. And I really, and I'm not going to talk bad about X-Plane. That guy's a genius. Uh, the guy that, that created X-Plane. And X-Plane's always been really good. And for the longest time, without having a sim, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, that was the go-to. And they've just released X-Plane 12. But I'm a Microsoft fan. And again, what they've given us here... And what is available and what you can do. Truly phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. The As I was saying, the Flight Sim community is one of the greatest communities on Earth. And they have mods for every. They're coming up with mods for everything. And the mods are going to even be way better with 2024. The capabilities of what the engine is going to be able to do. I have learned how to fly most all the different planes in in the simulator. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. Let me uh let me get over to your channel and subscribe back. Go to channel. Go into model junkers page. Love your profile. Let me subscribe. X Lego stop motion artist. Wow. An airfix artist. I don't know what airfix is. Is that like airbrush? Realistic model maker. Man, what a talent. What a talent. I always liked making stuff, but I just wasn't that great at it. You know, I didn't spend that much time. Uh, but I always enjoyed building models when I was a kid. I had a lot of destructive friends, basically. Uh, and... I would put some models together and they'd be like, let's blow it up with fireworks. And I was easily led. I'm like, yeah, okay. 
end up blowing up all my models with stupid fireworks. But next year I'll have models ready and I'll be filming in the outdoors. Well, I can't wait to see. So I am subscribed to your channel now. And I can't wait to see what you do. I would really like to see some of the Lego stop motion stuff that you've got going on. Or that you've done in the past. All right, let's see where we're at. Oh, I just overflew it. Okay, let me contact air traffic control. I doubt that they have a tower at this airport, but we'll let everybody know where we want to come in for landing. E D T D. And the wind is blowing from the west still. So we'll choose runway 18. No, no tower. Okay, and we should get our landing pattern. Probably have already appeared. I think we and we overflew it. Yeah, behind us. All right, turn the ship around. YouTube was the greatest thing ever. Um, has been the greatest tool ever. Because uh, I didn't want to pay for like the add-ons that you can get that are the training stuff. Because again, every bit of training that you would want. From professional pilots to sim pilots, everything you would ever want to know about anything to do with flying, there are lots and lots of training uh, videos out there. And so for the first year, I would just have playlists constantly running over training, whether I really even could grab, get my head around it or not. Eventually it all started sinking in. And uh been wonderful. Now I'm flying airliners. This is a, I, I'm doing this because I'm doing the career stuff and I'm trying to uh trying to make some money in NeoFly and, and do the career stuff in NeoFly, which is this this add-on program here. And it's pretty neat. Uh while I was waiting while we're waiting for 2024, this has got a neat neat career mode. And freelance modes, and you can get pilots. You can create your own air uh, airliner, uh, your own air whatever, uh, air service. And it's a it's a neat program. You do all different kind of uh, missions, cargo missions, illicit cargo, search and rescue, military, uh, parachuting, advertising. You also make digital models. Like access for games is a part-time job. Man, what what a skill. That'd be great. But yeah, I never thought that I would be able to fly airliners or military jets. And now I've flown them all. Um, if you were to take any time to go through my channel and my playlists um you'll see lots and lots of i've also done lots and lots of training videos to try to help new people out like myself uh i made all those training videos even though i'm not a pro to demonstrate that i understand that i understand how to do all these things and yeah now i'm uh i think i can fly most most anything in the simulator I really enjoy flying the airliners. I know how to use the master computer on the airliners now and program in flights. And that's a lot of fun. There's Integral. Hello, Integral. Let me get over there. And I don't normally use the em emojis, but that's awesome. Uh, let me do that. Uh... There we go. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Thanks for stopping in. Start slowing down. I am flying in Germany, and it has been an eye-opener. It's so pretty here. And I came over here because uh, two of the gentlemen that have been tuning into my live stream, Hans and Henny, 
they're real world glider pilot students and uh, they started joining the live stream and they got me into gliding and they want me to practice gliding with them and they live here in Germany and uh, normally I do all my training in Colorado in the United States and all my flying in the United States and uh, this is my first time in Europe and I wanted to spend some time over here getting to know these fellas turf and hang out with them for a bit and then I'm gonna start moving more around Europe and start seeing the world now in the simulator now it's time to explore and and time to have fun in the simulator now that most of my training is done let me go to integrals channel now that I got you here and subscribe integrals page I just want to upload some videos for you all to see, and I hope you have a great day. Let me subscribe here. And Integral has, right away, I'm seeing some flight simulator stuff. I see, don't press link in comments, all my plane. And you're from Cambodia? And you've been doing stuff recently. You've got some flight stuff, January 30th. An emergency landing. Oh, those are just models too. I see those are just models on a tabletop. Shooting fires and Roblox. I love gaming. Get my flaps down. I don't know if my software is broken or not. It's, uh... I, I chose a job, but in Neofly, the audio didn't kick in to let me know that the job was, was working or not. I don't know if I'm having a problem with Neofly or not. But I'm flying to this destination, and we'll see if it... if it pays us. If not, I might have to reboot the... reboot the computer. I don't have a very uh, good computer either, to be completely honest. This is a mid-range Dell computer. It's nothing special. And it's done absolutely everything I needed it to do. I don't... Uh, hello. Don't freeze. Don't freeze on landing. There's a lot of settings you can change for low and mid-range computers. Whoa, easy. Easy, pal. Normally, I would taxi, but I want to find out if this thing is working or not. So, it won't pay you until the engine is shut down. Continue. Now, let me go over here to this thing. And... The audio might not be working, but normally in about 30 seconds, if, if it's going to pay us, it'll show up here in the top that it finished the job. Still shows that we have the job. And we'll see what it does. See, it still sees us as at ED47. So something is messed up. Really software. You win some, you lose some, you know. I did a uh, cross countries from Colorado all the way down to the tip of Argentina about two weeks ago, and I was over ten million dollars, and I crashed. I kept clipping trees. There's so many damn trees in South America that I kept clipping trees coming over uh, runways, and I crashed my plane twice, and so basically I lost a million dollars, and everything in Neofly is very, very expensive. Yesterday you spent some grueling hours making armor, axe, and a sword for any particular game, and that's the 3D assets you're talking about. Um, 
And what program are you using? What are you using to create your 3D stuff in? I'm watching um, one of Intergirl's videos right now. You might hear. I told you we needed more glitter. <laughs> oh, these are just. Sh I told you we needed more glitter. I don't know exactly what this is about, but we needed more glitter. I want to declare a medical emergency. We need to uh, proceed uh, directly into the airport. When you have a chance, can you give me the uh, info? We have uh, a child in the back of the aircraft. Looks like he's having possibly a seizure. He's uh, going. Oh my! Right now. We have uh, a nurse in the back uh, looking at him. Yeah, when able, I need your gate number and do you have the age and uh, sex with itself? No, I'll get you that info, and uh, we're going to gate 56. Plan on right base, five miles DME for runway 22 visual. Okay, thank you. We're playing a right base. A child on board. He's three years old and it's male. He wants uh, medic at the gate. Uh, absolutely. We're going to declare a medical emergency. All aircraft hold position. VIP aircraft on airport grounds. Oh, come on. We're ready to wait. Spirit 905, where are you going? Uh, Orlando. Spirit 905, we can't do that. We have to wait for the VIP aircraft. Yeah, we ain't got time for this. <laughs> All aircraft hold position. VIP aircraft. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. I didn't really was a, I realized it was a game coming up. Forgive me. I didn't, you know, of course, yeah, there's probably going to be some NDAs or some stuff like that going on. Uh, no, but uh, that's cool. No, hey, I'm not going to pry. Uh, it's cool, though, and you're using Blender. It's far out. All right, so my uh, program is bugged. It didn't pay us. The job didn't clear, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, it might just require a reboot of everything. I'm not. Uh, this thing flakes out every now and then. So so much for uh, so much for making money today at the moment. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of it then, if it's not going to help us today. Another tool I'm using is called uh, Bush Talk Radio. This is an uh, an add-on that people have made, and people create uh, uh, points on the map for audio tours. For example, coming up in this area around us, this next point here, uh, the Randon Mountain Range. The Randon is a small mountain range located between the Jura and the Swabian Jura, north of the Rhine. Predominantly located in the Swiss canton of Schaffhausen, they culminate in the German state of Baden-Württemberg. The Randon are situated north of Schaffhausen and south of Bloomberg. The highest peak is the Schlattersteig, which is part of the more prominent Hohe Randon in Germany. Other important summits are the Hager, the Lang Randi, and the Schloss Randon with the Schlethamer Randon term in Switzerland. All right, and over here, Did he see? Huh. So this thing's cool to have when you're when you're flying around. Um, it's got a built-in radio, but I can't play it. I guess it'll pull up local radio stations, which is really cool. But I can't do that on YouTube. Uh, copyright, yada yada yada. But that features down here. Let me uh, kick it in for a minute, see what we get. So, yeah, it searches, it somehow or another has all the radio stations. And it searches for nearest radio stations and plays them. So that's really cool. So if you're not going to be live streaming, that is really, really cool. But anyway, anytime you come within like uh, you, this, this radius, this circle here, uh, come into one of these next to one of these pins, it'll give you audio tours. So that's really nice when you're sightseeing and learning an area. Okay, you're going to go now because you finished the body of the 50 caliber. And it's late night in the UK. Oh, you're welcome. And um, I'm glad I subscribed. I, I look forward to checking you uh, checking anything out. If you if you produce something, yeah, come back in and let me know. 
I'm a good follower, I promise. And, and I love social media stuff, and I love sharing stuff, so be happy to help share anything, or like that, you know. So cheers, cheers. Let me raise my mug to you. Cheers. Thank you for stopping and even taking a minute out of your day. If you have further questions about anything, I'm I'm here for you. Anything uh you need to know, any help you need help with anything, need somebody to fly with. Hey, I'm there, man. So cheers. Integral, you have a Interesting sense of humor. Make a character with your last four emojis. So far out, you make... You make plain models. You have A three fifty. Why is that man's face all red? <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, oh, he gotta check my watch. Cause it's yeah time! Question. What you jumping for? <laughs> Did you quit YouTube? No. No, I. No, you shouldn't. But you have a very interesting sense of humor. Make a Get back to the top of your page here. That's cool, man. We needed more glitter. All right. That's awesome. So I've subscribed to two new people today, Model Junkers and Integral. All right. Well, there's uh, other than, there's not really much more to see today. We might call this one early so I can. Go diagnose what the heck is up with my, uh, with, with Neofly and why that's not working so well. I started the show with this and I go, I guess I'll go ahead and end the show with this today. We'll pick it up here tomorrow. This is Arthur Yoria. One of my favorite YouTube artists and artists in general. Arthur Yoria. This is one bright color. We'll see you tomorrow.
answers to the readers. Fear and science fiction in your head.